What is going on guys, Tech Bro Trolley here and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 budget phones almost all under 10,000 pesos for the year 2021. I'm pretty sure we all had to spend a lot this holiday season, especially for gifts for loved ones. And then we remember, we need to upgrade our phones. And that's why I'm here. We had a load of budget bangers this year and it might be a bit hard to choose. So we went ahead and listed down our top 5 picks for budget phones almost all under 10,000 pesos. Number 1. The Infinix Hot 11S for 7,990 pesos for the 6GB RAM 128GB storage variant. The Infinix Hot 11S has a lot of ingredients that make up a good smartphone. A good display, camera, and processor. For just below 8,000 pesos, you're getting a phone with a full HD plus 90Hz display, dual speakers, a 50 megapixel rear camera paired with a 2 megapixel depth sensor, and 8 megapixel selfie camera. And of course, we have a very good processor, the MediaTek Helio G88. These alone make the Hot 11S a new standard for budget gaming phones, or budget phones in general. In fact, we found out the phone is capable of demanding games like Genshin Impact, Call of Duty Mobile, and Asphalt 9. So if you're looking to play these games but don't want to break the bank, it's a solid pick. But if you're not a gamer, the other features make it a great choice for just about anyone. We even have 128GB of storage for anything you want to stuff in the phone. And the big 5000 mAh battery will make sure you can do whatever you want and more. And if you want to see a full video about this phone, you can check that out up here. Number 2. The Cherry Aqua S10 Pro for 7,999 pesos and that's a 6GB RAM 128GB storage variant. Cherry is still in the game as far as budget smartphones go in the Philippines. And here we have our top budget pick from them this year, the Aqua S10 Pro. It has all the features you need for budget gaming, like a powerful Helio G90 processor, along with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. For Instagram or TikTok, we have a quad camera setup consisting of a 48MP main camera, 5MP ultrawide, and a pair of 2MP cameras that's the DEF and macro sensors. With a 6.67-inch Full HD Plus IPS display, you can enjoy all the Netflix shows and anime you can find. It's gonna look nice and sharp. Aside from 30 watt wire charging, we get 10 watt wireless charging, which is a rarity in this class. The future is said to be wireless after all. And that'll be topping up the 5000 mAh battery, which will be more than enough for a long day of use. And if you want to know more, you can check out the link up here. Number 3 and 3.5 and because we have two variations for the Xiaomi Redmi 10. That's 7,590 pesos for the 4GB RAM 64GB storage version and 8,590 pesos for the 6GB RAM 128GB storage version. Xiaomi has proven that time after time, their budget phones are some of the best out there. They always manage to make their presence known in our lists. With the Xiaomi Redmi 10, aside from a good MediaTek Helio G88 processor, you get a smartphone jam-packed with features. Enjoy a smooth experience with a 90Hz 6.5-inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD. And of course, your favorite shows will be a treat as well since we also have stereo speakers. We get another quad camera setup here with the 50MP main camera, 8MP ultrawide, and the usual pair, 2MP def and macro sensors. And with the world opening up again, I'm sure you can take full advantage of these cameras when capturing your memories. And it's worth noting that the main camera takes great photos both day and night. One of the best shooters in the budget segment for sure. And aside from 18 watt wire charging, you also get 9 watt reverse wire charging in case you want to share the juice of that 5000 mAh battery. So number 3 is photography focused and if you want to know more, check out the link up here. Number 4, the Realme Narzo 50A and that's 7,990 pesos for the 4GB RAM 64GB storage variant. If mobile gaming is your priority above everything else, check out the Narzo 50A. Despite the dated 6.5-inch HD Plus IPS display and mediocre rear camera, the phone packs powerful internals that can deliver serious performance. We have the tried and tested Helio G85 paired with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. We've tested a ton of phones this year with that processor, so you'll enjoy all your favorite titles like Genshin Impact, Mobile Legends, and more. And if you do want to snap some photos, we have a 50 megapixel main camera with 2 megapixel macro and mono sensors. 
In front, we have an 8 megapixel selfie camera, but again, I wouldn't recommend this one if you plan to use it mainly for photos. Last, being the king of battery for this list, it is a huge 6000 mAh battery which means you can play and use this phone for ages. No need to worry about running out of juice when you're gaming on the go. And you can top that up with 18 watt charging. From photography, now we have a gaming focused phone for number 4, and you can learn more up here. And last but not the least, number 5, the Tecno Camon 18P. That's 10,990 pesos for the 8GB RAM, 128GB storage version. Now I did say in the start that almost all the phones are under 10,000 pesos, but this phone is so good we just had to include it. Tecno equipped the phone with a very capable camera, just like other Camon 18 models. That's a 48 megapixel main camera paired with a 13 megapixel telephoto with 2x optical zoom. And of course, the usual depth sensor. And we were pretty shocked with how good the photos were despite the affordable price. Even for selfies, it's very capable with a 16 megapixel selfie camera. This will help with video calls, which is super important nowadays, especially because we're all working from home or keeping in touch with loved ones. Enjoy your favorite shows and media with the 6.8 inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD, which sports a snappy 120Hz refresh rate. That's fast, and the phone can keep up with a MediaTek Helio G96 paired with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. And you can enjoy all the features for a while thanks to the 5000mAh battery, complete with 33W fast charging. So if you have more budget for your upgrade, I strongly suggest checking out this phone, and you can learn more up here. And there you have it, our top 5 budget phones to greet 2022 with a ban. All the phones in this list are great choices, and for the most part, for different reasons. So whether you need one for gaming, photography, media, or work, there's sure to be one perfect for you and your budget. And we hope this list helps you greet the new year with a shiny new upgrade. You can find out more on our website. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and once again, it's your tech bro Chalo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.